everyone in this video we'll see how we can create a parametric base filler object with a toggle to be able to automatically change the height to the tokic base so you will have a parameter added and by selecting true or false it will automatically adjust the height and the placement of the tokic base so first what we need is to take the base filler object go in the editor switch to the object tree click at the cabinet level and add a new parameter the new parameter type will be a boolean and the style will be an attribute. Then we give it a name. I will name it to floor. So the name will be, be used later to uh, reuse it and check the value of this parameter. So the description will be full height with a question mark. Then the value by default will be zero. And click OK to create the parameter. Now I'll reselect it in the object tree just to take the code to use it on my part to modify the height. Copy it. Next, I will go and find my filler part, select it, go back to the live object tree. And now I want to make sure that I'm selecting the parameter to adjust the height first. So this is dy. Double click on it to open the editor. And first I will change the condition to check if the checkbox is equal false. So if I test it here, it will return false because it's at zero. But now I want to say that if uh, the two floor parameter is equal to zero, then it means it has to uh, be uh, the height less the height of the tokic. Next, I just go on the second line for the condition where I want to check that if the checkbox is equal to true, then the tokic height will be the cabinet height. So I replace the code with cab that dy, which means it's the full height, and test it. So this is working. We have true and false, and we have basically the height will be adjusted. So we click OK. After the height, I want to change the placement. So even the fill will be on the floor, or it will be at the tokic height. So the first one is the default code that's returning the tokic height. So I will add the condition to check if the checkbox equal false, then we want to move it by the tokic height. The next condition will be to check if the two floor is equal true. And if it's equal to it means it's one, so then I want to leave it on the floor so the higher the elevation will be zero. Click OK. And now I have all my code. So I can see now I have my attribute added to my object and I can turn it on and turn it off to test it at the cabinet level. So last thing I want to do and once I tested it, is maybe to save it in my catalog. So I'll right click and save as. And because I added a custom attribute, I'll check the te checkbox preserve attribute. I'll give it a new name. And based on the name, uh, I will save it wherever I want in my library. Click OK. And now we're done. So the object is in the catalog. Last step is to go back in the catalog, find the base filler parametric, and test it one more time to make sure everything is working. So I select it. And I can see uh, my toggle, so I can turn it on or off. And I can see directly on my elevation that my filler height is adjusted based on the value of the toggle.